Welcome to MathsMaster.org. We're going to have a look at division by chunking now. Okay, so you might have heard of short division and long division as methods of doing division. Uh, have you heard of the chunking method? If you haven't, you really should have. It's a fantastic way of doing division and I really like it because it really gets across the message of what's happening when you're doing a division sum. It really explains what division is all about. So I really like this method. Okay, let's have a look at a first example here. We're going to do 64 and divide that by 4. Now, using the chunking method, you've got to get into the habit of asking yourself the question in this example of how many 4s go into 64? Or 4 times what is 64? Or another way you might like to think of it is if I had to do 4, add 4, add 4, add 4, add 4, how many times would I have to add 4 together to get 64? Okay, once you've got that in your mind, that we're asking ourselves the question, how many 4s go into 64? You just proceed like this. You say to yourself, okay, I can do lots of 4 times something that's really easy. I could do 4 times 2, I could do 4 times 5, I can do 4 times 10, four, even 4 times 100 I could do in my head nice and quickly. Uh, so to start this one off, I'm going to do uh, 10 times 4, which I can do in my head really quickly. That's 40. And what we're saying is, out of that 64, in the first 40 of that, 4 goes in 10 times, doesn't it? So the next thing that you do is you do some column subtraction here, and you take the 40 away from the 64 using column subtraction to leave 24 as you can see there. Okay, right, with the 24 that's left well I know how many times 4 goes into 24, it's just out of my times tables. 6 times 4 is 24 and if we took that 24 away from the 24 above it, we'd be left with 0 and that tells us that we've got to the end of our chunking method. And then the most important thing that you have to look for is this column here. This column tells us how many times 4 went in to 64 and you have to add up this column. So 10 add 6 is 16 and so our answer to the question is 16. 4 times 16 is 64, or 4 went into 64 16 times. OK, let's have a look at another example now. We're going to do 330 and divide that by 3 using the chunking method. So I start off and I'm thinking 3 times tables that I can do really quickly. I can do 3 times 5, 3 times 10. I'm going to do a 3 times 100 or, or 100 times 3 to get us started with this question. 100 times 3 would be 300, wouldn't it? So out of that 330, in the first 300 of that, there are 100 threes. So we lay out our workings like this and then do column subtraction. 3 take away 0 is 3. And then 3 take 3 is 0. OK, so what it's saying is, out of the 330, there are 100 threes in the first 300 of that, and we're left with 30 that we need to now say, how many times does 3 go into that 30 to finish off? OK, how many times does 3 go into that 30 to finish off? Well, I can do that nice and quickly in my head. 10 times 3 is 30. And if we subtract that 30 from the 30 above it, we'll be left with 0. And we'll have got to the end of this question. We look at this column and say, OK, there were 100 threes in the first 300. And then we need to add that to the 10 threes. that we used in the last 30, that gives us 
110 threes altogether. 110 times 3 would be a 330, or 3 went into 330 110 times. Okay, another example now. Uh, we're going to do 175 divided by 5. And again, I just start off by saying 5 times what seems like a good thing to do here. Um, well, 5 times 10 or 10 fives would be 50. If 10 fives are 50, 20 fives or 20 times 5 must be 100. Okay, let's, let's start off there. Shall we? Let's do 20 times 5 is 100. We do a column subtraction and we're left with 75 from that. Okay, so now we're left with 75 and I'm thinking, okay, well, there'd be 10 fives in another 50 of that. 10 times 5 would get us another 50 from our answer. So if I did column subtraction there, I took the 50 away from the 75 above it, I'd be left with 25. And I say to myself, OK, well, 5 fives are 25. And that gets us to our answer, because if we do the column subtraction there, 25 take away 25 would be 0. And we look at this column and add this column up. We've got 20, add 10, add 5, takes us to 35. So 175 divided by 5 is 35. 5 goes into 175 35 times. Okay, just one final example then to finish us off. Something a bit different. 198 divided by 9. Okay, I'm thinking to myself, 10 times 9 would be 90. Let's, let's start off with that. 10 times 9 would be 90. Do you see you're just using easy multiplications that you can do. You're not, you're not starting off with like 7 times 9 or anything like that. It just starts off with 5 times 9 or 10 times 9 or 100 times 9. Just things you can do really, really quickly um, that are nice and straightforward. So 10 times 9 is 90. If I do some column subtraction there, I do the 198 take away the 90, I'm left with 108. So then I say to myself, well, we could get another 90 in there, couldn't we? We could get another 10 times 9 in there. That would be another 90. So if we do another 10 times 9 here, that will be another 90. Gone from what we're trying to work out from that, that 198. So if we do 108 take away 90 with column subtraction, we're left with 18. And then I say to myself, well, that's really easy. I can do that in my times table. 2 times 9 is 18. So there's another two 9s to make that 18. We subtract that 18 from the 18 above it, we're left with 0, we've got to the end of our question, and we look at this column, and we add this column up. How many 9s did we have all together? We had 10 times 9 here, 10 times 9 below it, so that takes us to 20, and then we had another 2 9s. We got 22 9s, or 22 times 9 we had eventually, so our answer is 22. 9 went into 198 22 times, or 22 times 9 is 198.
Okay, that was the ch uh, division by using the chunking method. Hope you uh, enjoyed that. If you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.